What's up, big timers? We've got a bunch of new Hot Wheels cars to open up today, including some old ones and some brand new ones. Let's get a close up look at them and then race them down the track. Let's first start things off with the Cadillac 16s. We've got four new color variations of the Cadillac 16s, and we'll have to put these up against the Champ V16 Cadillac to see if they can beat it. We'll start it off with this one right here. Check out the graphics on the side of it. A nice yellow paint job, and check it out on the top. That is some crazy artwork on this one. 10 interior, love these five-star wheels on there as well. And we'll go to the next one. We've got this kind of uh, bluish colored one, bluey gray. We'll open this one up. Have a nice look at that one. That one looks like it's got the same wheels on it. Some nice graphics on the black part right there. And it looks like very cool from the top. Very, very nice and from the back as well good looking car all together. Next time we've got a silver variation one as well. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And this is kind of like a glossy silver color on it. It does look pretty beastly on here. And they all seem to have these same wheels on at least these variations that I have. And next up we've got the white colored variation. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And this one's an all pearl white variation of it. Very cool looking. Look at that chrome grill on there as well. All right, let's get all four variations in hand here so you guys can have a quick look at them. And like I said, we'll have to get these all to race the V16 Champ car, the Cadillac Champ car. If you guys don't know, if you're a new follower, the fastest Hot Wheels car down the track is one of these cars, The one of the variation, color variations of these cars, fastest car that I have. All right, we'll put those ones aside and we will move on to some of these uh, cool combis right here. And we've got uh, three different color variations, including a treasure hunt variation. We'll start it off with this white one right here. Nice graphics artwork on the side, new for 2013. So this is 2013 variation of the cool combi and check it out the cool looking splashes on the side we've got the hot wheels logo on there and this is if you don't know it is like a drag style bus on there so it's got the wheelie bars on the back of it very very cool looking all right we'll put that one down we'll open up the treasure hunt variation check it out this is a brand new 2018 uh, treasure hunt car let's go ahead and open this one up and check out the different colored wheel tire variation on there. We've also got some nice graphics on the top and there is that uh, treasure hunt logo right there. So if you're not sure if it's a treasure hunt or not, just look for that logo on your car. Most treasure hunts will have that logo on there. So very nice looking color on that one. We'll put that one down and we'll pick up our last color variation that we have of it. And this one, I don't know, this is like an orangish colored one or maybe it's more red now that I look at it. And we got the white wheels on there, got some big splashes and stuff on the side. Uh, obviously the people in real life who have these cars are, uh, they like their colors on their cars. So they're mostly decorated with lots of different colors on there. So let's go ahead, we'll put all three of these color variations in hand so you guys can kind of see right here. Hopefully you guys can see them all nicely. There you are. Perfect, some great looking cars, the cool combi, different color variations. All right, we'll put those ones down and we will head on over to this side over here and we've got some really, really cool cars. And we've got two Celine S7s and this one has the spoiler on there, it's a black colored variation. And then we've got a Ferrari Enzo. We'll start off with the black Celine S7 right here. And check out the graphics and stuff on there. That just looks fantastic. Huge fan of the Selena 7. If you guys aren't familiar with them, the American uh, supercar done by Celine. And there is this great looking black variation. We did see some of these in the Speed Machine series, uh, similar variation to this, but this black variation is just awesome. I found this one online recently and I was like, wow, I can't believe I don't have this already. It looks so cool. So had to pick it up. 
I like the colored wheels on there. I love the spoiler on there. Looks fantastic. All right, we'll put that one down for a second. Then we've got a, another blue colored variation of the Celine S7. And this one says Jinko on the side. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. Looks like a matte finish on it as well. And let's go ahead and open this one up. And it is a nice matte finish on there. We've got a white base on it, which is kind of cool. And check out those colored wheels on there. Very, very interesting, unique paint job, that matte paint job on there. And check it out from the side as well. Very unique, nice looking car. Great, great, great. All right, and up next, we've got a Ferrari Enzo. And this one is red and it's got some sort of like white pinstriping or striping on the side of it. Um, I didn't have one of these opened up, so I decided to go back into my collection and grab one of these and open it up. So let's go ahead, open it up right now. We'll take a nice look at that. Check it out from the top. You can see the nice pinstriping from that white on there, the nice red color variation, and those nice staggered five-star wheels on there. The Enzo, a very popular Hot Wheels casting. People seem to love these ones as I am a huge fan of it. So we'll put those ones down and I'll actually put all three of these ones in my hand so you guys can see these last three that we opened up right now. Check those ones out. Some great looking castings, the Celine S7 in black and blue, and then we've got the Ferrari Enzo in the red colored variation. All right, and for our next three, Three. We've got an Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile and we've got two tuned out Hummers. Let's check out the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile and this one will be featured in an upcoming race all together. Well, this will race a bunch of different cars on Peak Time Racing channel. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss that video. I can't wait to film that one and to see which car this one is faster than. So there it is, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. They don't make this one anymore. This was a very popular popular probably back in the uh, early 2000s or so they made a chrome variation of this one and a couple of different wheel variations but a very cool looking it's got that big hot dog on there Oscar Mayer Wienermobile and you were able to see this one in real life as well they had this actually made in real life and it's uh, probably somewhere out there still for you guys to see, but very cool. This is gonna be awesome to see go down the track. Uh, we'll put it down the track today for its first race and then it'll be featured up against a bunch of other cars in a future race. All right, next up we've got is this Hummer. We've got a tuned out yellow Hummer. Check out those big blings. This is a 2004 first edition Blings car uh, back when these big wheels were popular. Actually, they're still kind of popular nowadays, but uh, they don't make as many of them in the Hot Wheels variation. But there it is. Check out these big bling wheels on there. The big grill, very, very thin front windshield. Check it out. We've got the sunroof on there as well. Big blinged out Hummer. All right, we'll go to the next car. We've got another blinged out. This one's a Hummer H3. So it's the little bit smaller variation Hummer, but it's got the big blingies on there as well. And let's go ahead and open this one up. Ooh, wow, this one is cool too. Very lowered on there. Check out those Big, big wheels. These wheels are very popular in Hot Wheels format and it's pretty interesting to see them all very big and blinged out on this Hummer. And actually, you know what? We'll compare these Hummers side by side first before we look at the Oscar Mayer Wiener once again. There it is, those two blinged out ones. This one looks a little bit lowered and this one just has these big blingers on there. And just to give you a little bit of size comparison, there's our Oscar Mayer Wiener back right there. Check it out. So Oscar Mario Wiener is definitely longer, but you can see the size of the wheels on the Oscar Mario Wiener, way smaller than that. All right, next up, we've got this Nightburners five pack. This is a brand new release, and I've been waiting to get my hands on this one. We've got some very unique, interesting cars in there, and I'll show you the side if you're looking to collect it. It says Nightburners on there, so you can search for it in the store. And on the back, we've got, looks like a Dodge Viper on there, and uh, that's featured in the Nightburners pack. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll take a closer look at each car one by one. Just 
pop it open as fast as we can right here. Well, first we will take out the car from the top and this one is, it looks like a Nissan 350Z and it's a very unique looking, uh, what is this, like a greenish color on there, like a neonish green color. It's got the white interior. It is a right hand drive vehicle. So it's a little bit unique. So it's kind of like an imported car to the US or if you're overseas, a lot of cars are that right hand drive. Check out the body kit on there from the front, the big spoiler on the back of it, the dual exhaust in there as well. Some very unique colored wheels. Check out the graphics on the side of that. It's got like a hand punching right there with the hot wheels coming out the back. You can see the hand right there, the hot wheels right there. All right, let's go on to the next car. We've got a Mitsubishi Lancer. This is a silver colored variation of it. Um, well, it's actually more kind of grayish. It's a grayish silver color. Some nice graphics on the side of it. Um, it does actually, it says night burners on there and it's got a little small Hot Wheels logo on there. Got some red wheels on there, chromed out red. That's really neat. And these are a little bit, uh, I haven't seen these wheels in that chromed out color. So that's definitely unique to it. Mitsubishi Evo on there and uh, Lancer Evolution 2008 is what it says on the bottom as I don't have my Evo knowledge all completely up to date, but thankfully it says on the bottom what it is. We'll put that one down. Next up we've got, and this one's been a very popular one in this set. This is the Honda CRX and it is this really nice color variation. I love the white contrasted wheels and interior on this one. Some nice body kits on there on the side of it. Check out these wheels on there. Very unique looking wheels. Very cool from the front as well. And this one is also a right hand drive variation, which again, you don't see very often, but the night burners are those right hand drives. And actually the Evo, funny enough, was a left hand drive. So it's kind of different. All right, next up in this pack, we have got, it looks like the Dodge Challenger drift car. And it is a drift car. Look at the big drift on the side of it. The Mopar logo, great big wing on there. We've seen this one in regular uh, mainline packs and we've seen a number of different color variations of it, but this one does look really cool. I like the colored wheels and all those graphics on the side are so cool on there. All right, last but not least, we have got our last car of the five pack and this one is a Dodge Viper. And check out the faster than ever wheels on there staggered big ones on the back little ones on the front srt viper very very unique color so it's more like a goldish color on here big wing on the back the srt wing great looking car really really like this one i don't know you guys you tell me i'm gonna actually put these trying to put these all in my hand and i want you guys to post in the comments down below which is your favorite car of the night burners five pack there they are so we've got the nissan 350z the mitsubishi lancer evo the crx the challenger drift and we have got the dodge srt viper on there some great looking ones i'm gonna go with the viper uh, from the Nightburner series. I really like the Viper. I'm a big Viper fan in real life as well. All right guys, here it is, the 10 pack. And I specifically bought this pack uh, for uh, probably three cars in this pack, which I really, really liked. I like the Mazda Fiore, the uh, RX-7 in that color variation, and also this uh, Porsche GT3 RS that we have in a new color variation. A couple of other good ones in here, the Vets and the other RX-7, three Mazdas in here, which is quite unique and interesting. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And we'll start it off on the top right here with this RX-7 that I've been really looking forward to getting. I love the white wheels. It's something about cars with white wheels and white interior that uh, I kind of like. I don't know, it's just a, maybe it's a new thing that I've really become fond of, of some of these Hot Wheels cars but this one does look fantastic. Love that colorway on there. Great looking from the 10 pack. We'll go up to the Mazda Fiore at the top right here. New color variation. I believe this is uh, the third different color variation we've seen of the Mazda Fiore from Hot Wheels. Uh, there might be four, I could be wrong, but uh, this is the third one that I own, the third one that I've seen, but uh, a very cool looking casting. Very, very nice, look at it. 
I really hope they make another one in real life. The interesting story in this one in real life, actually, the real life car of it, they only made one and it burnt down. So next up, we've got this white looking car and I'm not even sure what this one is. I think it's a Chevelle or something like that. But uh, I like the white. It's got the nice striping on the side, the Hot Wheels logo on the back and check out the chrome red wheels on there. Nice touch to it, big chrome grille on the front of it whites on the top and next up we'll go into the middle right here we've got an Aston Martin this is the looks like the V8 Vantage GT3 car red white top on there got some nice big spoiler on there and check it out I don't know if this is an error on there or not but we've got a white dash on there so if you own this car let me know does yours have this weird kind of white paint miss on there Looks like it might be an error, but uh, we'll find out. We'll have to look them up and see if other ones feature that or not. Nice looking car. We'll go to the C7R up top right there. We've got the blue C7R Summit Edition, faster than ever staggered wheels, big wing on the back of it. Check out that big out there wing. Very cool looking car. All right, we'll put that one down. We'll go up to the Mazda RX-7 FD. This one we have seen it in the main line. I already have this one in the main line, I believe, and they've got the black roof on there, green, the gold wheels on there. Very, very cool looking. Looks like it should be part of the Nightburner series. All right, and then next up, we've got a Morris Mini on here. Check it out, we've got the Morris Mini. And next up, we'll go to this one right here, and it looks like the, uh, the Chevy Volt. We've seen this one in a couple of different mystery cars and mainline variations, but uh, I like the wheels on this one. We've seen these wheels on the Tesla Model X last year at the beginning of last year. Now we're seeing much more different color variations. This one looks like a chrome red. <laughs> Lots of chrome red cars today that we're opening up and nice green one there as well. And we'll go on to the bottom car on this and this one looks like a Mustang. It looks like a GT500. Um, I believe it is right there, yeah, GT500. And this one, I think I have seen this one in the mainline variations as well. But it is a neat looking car. Fastback Mustang, very classic looking. And last but not least, our last car for today. Move that out of the way. We've got the Porsche Carrera GT3 RS or the 911 GT3 RS. And again, the white wheels. I am just loving the white wheel variations. And this one looks fantastic. This is probably the reason why I bought this actual set, this actual 10 pack. It's just because of this car specifically. I really, really like this car. I'm really growing fond of Porsches. I haven't been a huge Porsche fan growing up, but I'm really respecting a lot of the newer cars that they've come out with, and I'm really actually becoming more of a Porsche fan. So there it is. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at all the cars together, and then we'll head on over to the track. And there we are, we've got 28 cars today that we unboxed. So let's go ahead, head on over to the track to find out which one's the fastest. I want you guys to post in the comments down below right now, which car you are cheering for and which car do you think's gonna win this big tournament? We've split the cars up into six groups. We'll do a race for each group and each car will move on to the semifinals where there'll be two races and the winner of each one of those race will go into the finals to find out which car's the fastest. And we're on track, we're all set for race number one. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> The Porsche 911 GT3 RS takes the win for group number one and moves on to the semifinals. And our second group of cars is on the starting grid, all ready to go. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> And 
the Morris Mini takes the win for group number two and moves on to the semifinals. And group number three are the Cadillac 16s. Let's see what they can do. On your mark, get set, go! And the yellow Cadillac 16 takes the win and moves on to the semifinals. And our next group of cars is on the grid, ready to go. I'm so excited to see this Oscar Mayer winner go down the track. Let's see if it can take a win in its first race. Here we go. Undermark, get set, go! <laughs> Oscar Mayer Wiener in his first race, but this Celine S7 takes the win to move to the semifinals. And the next group of cars is the Nightburners 5-pack. Let's see which one's the fastest and which one will move on. On your mark, get set, go! Mitsubishi Lancer takes the win in a close race for the Nightburners 5-pack and it moves on to the semifinals. And we are all set for our last group of cars before we go to the semifinals. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go! Check out this destructive ending of cars. We have four cars flipped over on their roof, but it is this Hummer that takes the win and moves on to the semifinals. And here they are, our six semifinalists, which will move on. We'll start with the first three, the Morris Mini, the Porsche, and the Cadillac. Who's gonna be our first car to take the win and move on to the finals? Let's find out. On your mark, get set. And it's the yellow Cadillac 16 that takes the win. This car is looking fast and it moves to the finals. Our next set of semifinalists are at the starting grid. Who's gonna win this one to face the Cadillac 16 in the finals? On your mark, get set, go! It's the Nightburners Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, which is moving on to the finals to face the Cadillac 16. And here we are, the final race, the Cadillac 16 versus the Nightburners Mitsubishi Lancer. One race, winner takes all. On your mark, get set, go! Okay.
Cadillac 16 is your champion from today's cars. This thing looks really fast and we'll have to put it up against the champ in a future race. Thank you for watching this one. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye. What's up Peak Timers? This is your boy Phil from Peak Time Racing. I just want to thank you all for watching this video. Now I just want to make sure you guys are fully aware of the Peak Time Racing brand which consists of all three of these channels right here. We've got Peak Time Racing which is the channel you're on right now. We've got Peak Time Vlogs which is my vlogging channel where you can find more stuff about my daily life, my family, and a lot more behind the scenes things, as well as Peak Time TV, which is my gaming channel, mixed in with a little bit of a storyline channel with Hot Wheels, some really cool stories and Hot Wheels stuff in there as well. I just want to make sure you guys don't miss out on a video that I post, so be sure to subscribe to all three of those channels. I will be doing a monthly giveaway, and all you have to do to enter is post on any one of my videos and any one of my channels that you are subscribed to all three of the Peak Time Racing branded channels. I'll be picking one lucky winner each month at random who will receive a prize package of Peak Time Racing branded things as well as Hot Wheels. Thanks again for watching this one. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye bye.